LEGO has recently released a new collectible minifigure series focusing solely on the space theme, having all 12 figures tied to that single theme, and I've seen many fans taking shots at making their own custom series of minifigures showing what they would like to see released, and today I want to show you mine. Of course, one of the teams closest to my heart is Castle, and that's the team I decided to go with first, as it would be probably the best decision that LEGO could make, so today I want to show you 12 custom medieval minifigures that I created just as a break from my regular building series. But as you know by now, my main focus on this channel is the attention to detail, so as I usually do, I went above and beyond and apart from making the 12 castle team figures, I also decided to make custom boxes and leaflets for them, so let me invite you for a quick review of my own custom CMF series. So get your QR code scanners ready and prepare for one of a kind unboxing that you won't be able to see anywhere else and let's get started right now. Okay guys, so we have the whole series packed up right now in front of me and at first glance I have to admit they are looking very good, but let's get one thing straight. The LEGO logo I used here is a trademark of the LEGO group which does not sponsor, authorize or endorse this product and was only made for entertainment purposes, not towards selling. But of course, if someone from LEGO is in fact watching this video and you happen to be searching for a packaging designer, then, you know, give me a call or something and we'll work it out somehow. But with that little introduction, let's get on with the video, shall we? And first, let's get a closer look at the packaging itself. As for the box design, I stick to the original one that LEGO introduced, simply just redrawing the die cutting form and then I went with my own graphic style, resembling the one you should be already familiar with from my channel. So the layout includes the griblings I've been using for some time now, this time in green as it's a color that I usually associate with the castle team, with a collaborative photo of some of the included minifigures and some text that should be present on a box like this. As you can see, it is labeled as Series 1, so if you come to liking this sort of videos, maybe I'll make other themes like this as well, but for now, let's start unboxing the first figure with no particular order, just full-on random unboxing. And the first one we got is a Dragon Knight, dressed in red and blue, just like the classic series from the 90s, but with some modernized elements like the printed legs taken from some Ninjago figure I think, a piece of silver shoulder armor and a blue cape to keep the classical color scheme. I also made use of a repurposed viking helmet with dragon wings instead of horns which fit here perfectly, a short sword and of course a classic shield from back in the day. Ok now moving to the second figure. Guess what, we've got another Dragon Knight, this one a remade version of the more modern series that appeared in 2013, dressed in all black and red, and I have to admit it's one of my favorites from this series. Mostly because of the new rubber cape that came from the Dream series that paired with a red torn cape from the CMF orc figure just fits so great with this ominous faction. I also gave him a halbard with blades made with dragon glass and of course the classic red dragon on top of his helmet and I just couldn't be happier of how he turned out. But continuing with the next figure, we have our first civilian from the bunch and it's just a simple servant girl to use in some kind of a tavern, dressed in a perfectly fitting apron, a plain dress and that kinda new mold on her head that came with the new lion's castle. And of course, since she used to work in a tavern, I gave her some fitting accessories being a pie and a spoon that she'll serve her patrons, all with a great smiling expression on her face. Next up, we have another great figure kinda between the knights and civilians, and that is the druid. I wanted to make some magical addition to the series, 
but the Magisto-like things are just so common that I decided to go with the forest theme using few pieces from different Harry Potter minifigures and it turned out to be a perfect mix for this kind of figure with a worn out hat on his head and a very fitting grey beard that just gave him so much character. And to top it all up, I of course had to give him a staff that I made using several pieces in dark brown, all topped with a green magical stone. Moving on, the next one we have yet another civilian, and another girl to be exact, and that is the shepherd. Here I use a regular pair of pants with a loose white shirt, which by itself maybe wouldn't be anything special, but with the use of this partly faded skirt piece, it just connects so good with the rest. And of course, I had to equip her with some proper tools, so she got a shepherd cane and a pair of scissors so that she could tend to her little animal friend, for which I just had to give this added wool piece just to have some playability to go along with it, and to be honest, nothing else is needed here because she's perfect just like that. Now jumping on to another fig, this time we're back with one of the classic factions and one of the most beloved ones by I think all of the fans and that is of course the Forestman. Here there was honestly not much to improve as I used the new printed torso and I just gave him a leather piece of shoulder armor along with a beard piece a classic hat, and to make things more interesting, a club instead of some random sword, because I think it fits the forest folk perfectly, and this way we have the most feared member of the faction ready to knock someone out. The next box we have contains yet another civilian, but a one known all across the town, and that is of course the merchant. Dressed in some very regular clothes, like a guy with his profession should be, but the most important here are the accessories, which include a bag on his back filled with cheese he's about to sell on the market, another one in his arm, and of course a coin in the other hand, as a successful merchant should have. Again, a very simple figure, yet a great addition to every medieval town or village. Moving on, we're back to army building, and this time we got ourselves a viking. I wanted to include some factions with a completely different background, and this guy is so down my alley. Having of course a dedicated viking torso we got introduced to recently, but also a classic rounded shield, which to be honest would be even better with some wooden print on it, a small axe to slay his enemies, a gorgeous green cape piece that fits this figure perfectly, and all of that topped with a historically accurate helmet, all making this figure just perfect for my taste. Now let's move on to another knight faction that was actually introduced in the CMF series, which is the Raven Knight. And since we already got a regular knight once, this time I decided to make a crossbow woman, with hair sort of fitting the faction color, a piece of armor and a knife in case she needs to engage in melee combat, and of course a standard crossbow to take out her opponents from a distance. Next in line we have the last civilian from this series, and here I wanted to add a kid to the mix, and thus the male boy was created. Just another one of these standard figures you can never get enough of while building a medieval town, and I think it's a great addition here. Happy with his contribution to the community, carrying a bag of deliveries on his shoulder, with a letter in his hand, a classic hat from the 90s Forestman team, a Jedi robe used here as a plain shirt and a pair of patched pants, just makes you wanna put this little guy on every corner of the town square. Now with this next figure having only two left to unpack, we are once again venturing to the distant lands and this time heading east with this menacing Arabian night. It's not the first time I made something in this theme, as you may recognize parts of him from my mosque mock back in the day, but I just had to include him in this series. He's wearing a piece of black armor on top of a two-sided cape, a chest piece that is actually a turned around torso I used in the Black Dragon Knight, 
with of course a Kefie on his head and he is just so ready to take on anyone who opposes him with his silver curved sword. And finally, we made our way to the last figure of my castle series, which is the Lion King. And believe me that the order I've opened them was totally random, so it's such a great coincidence that the king came last, but I guess I just got lucky. So we had the queen in the Lion Castle set, but for me the set, as great as it was, was missing a king minifigure, and I couldn't be happier of how mine turned out. I decided to make a young king dressed in gold armor, of course with the new cape we got with the castle, a crown on his head and naturally a shield and a sword. And not just any sword, because as a powerful ruler he had to have a specially decorated one that came with the Harry Potter CMF line I think. And this way my friends, we came to the end of unboxing the figures and we have now the full set of 12 medieval minifigures in my own first CMF series. Hopefully LEGO will come to a conclusion one day that this is the way to go and call me a naive optimistic but seeing the space series we have now I think it's just a matter of time until we get an official castle theme series. But what do you think? Do we have a chance for a similar collection from LEGO in the future? And how did you like the one I did? Let me know in the comments below and of course tell me if you want this kind of videos to be a regular thing on my channel and what themes I should take on next. But for now it's time for me to get back to building Fallout after a short break so if you're curious of how that will go then remember to subscribe, hit that bell for alerts, drop a like if you enjoyed this video and most importantly, as always, make sure you keep it bricking.